Oh, what's going on guys? How are you all doing well? So today's video, we are going to be talking about how to rig the big 23 centimeter drunk dancers from LMAB. A few different ways you can rig these. They're a little bit of an awkward lure to rig because they've got long tail, quite a short fat body. Um, so they're a little different than rigging like a big shad or something like that. So I thought I'd do a video explaining how I like to rig them, go over my favorite way to rig them and a couple of other ways you can rig them to like suit different situations and stuff like that. I'm going to throw a few fishing clips at the end. So if you just want to see the fishing, skip to this minute right there. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. So my favorite way to rig them, standard. It's how I like to rig most big baits. Two trebles, shallow rigged. Hopefully you can see that. We're in a bit of an awkward lighting right here. This is a Savage Gear Carbon 49 rig. Size 1.0. I'll put a link to the rig in the description along with the links to the lures and stuff like that as well. This is, I've tried a few different rigs. I've made my own rigs. This is the best off the shelf rig to fit these lures. As you can see, hopefully you can see, it, it fits the body perfectly. For a bait this long, it's, you know, perfect for the body size. The legs obviously compress, fold up when you get a pike. You don't want the hook to be hanging way off the back because you're just tangling the legs all the time. It'll get in the way. Same reason as if you had bigger hooks, like if you had 2.0, 3.0 hooks on this. They're too close together, really, in my opinion, to have hooks that size. So 1.0, Savage Gear Cam 49 rig. Obviously, you can make your own rig, sort of the same size as this, but that is my favorite way to rig it. I always rig them shallow. Now, you can rig them with uh, weighted shallow screws like 10 gram, 20 gram, 30 gram, but you're going to end up either being stuck with one weight or you're going to try to change them and it's going to mess the head of your lure. If you put one shallow rig in, that screw stays in there forever or until you lose the bait or until it gets chewed up. Uh, you don't take that rig out. If you want to change the weight, the best way, in my opinion, Jika weights or fast hatch weights, whatever you want to call them, simply so easy just clip them straight on the front of the like that and that's weighted now <laughs> that's a four, that's 14 gram weight right on there obviously you can have three gram five gram seven gram 14 24 you got two weights you can have three it's just so much more convenient to weight them like this and again if you get to another shallow area boom back to weightless and yeah that look can go to whatever depth you want it to go at without having to change the rig every single time which is annoying these are tungsten ones tungsten is a superior metal as i'm sure you guys know i'm pretty sure you can get lead ones but i think most companies are trying to phase lead out but yeah there'll be a link to these in the description as well tungsten jika weights essential for if you're fishing big baits big soft baits shallow rig them use a tungsten i don't, I don't personally see a place for weighted um screws head screw heads basically unless you, you know exactly what depth you're fishing is yeah Jika weights, the way forward or fast hatch weights, whatever you want to call them. But that's how I like to rig it anyway. Obviously, this has got two trebles on it. You can just use one treble hook. Maybe go for a 2.0 or a 3.0 if you're using one treble hook. Um, situate that sort of in the middle of the body there. You know, if you're fishing a bit like this, you're probably going for bigger fish. So that one hook will be enough. But you might fish, miss, miss a couple of the small ones that are just snatched in the back end or something like that. So... It's my favorite way to rig two trebles standard or one treble i've rigged them both ways and caught fish both ways but yeah that's that's the most convenient way for me you don't get as many tangles like obviously a bait like this we've got two big gnarly legs like it will tangle if you're not stopping the bait on a on a cast with your thumb before it hits the water um so you've got to bear that in mind when you're fishing these if you're just letting this flare through the air and land however it wants your legs will tangle on your hooks but slow it down before it hits the water it lands straight. So we're going off at a tangent there, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention that while I'm talking about it. So that's the first way to rig it. The next way, I've not actually brought a jig head with me, so I'll just put the picture of the lure on the screen here now. Um, but the next way is jig head, around about an 80 jig head. And you can obviously rig that with a stinger, just have a jig head or jig head and stinger as well. I'm not a big fan of jig head fishing, but if you're fishing somewhere that's snaggy on the bottom, super weedy, um, you know, you're going to be getting hung up or blunting your hooks frequently. Fishing with a jig head, you know, avoids that problem because the hook's on the top of the bait. Likewise, if you wanted to add a stinger on the back with that jig head as well, the stinger's going to be on the top of the bait as well. So you're avoiding the snags basically. And of course, jig head is weighted. So if you know where you're going to be fishing, 
if you know it's going to be slightly deeper you can have a 20 gram jig head something like that you can bounce it along the bottom instead of just straight retrieving which is you know a different way you can present the bait so yeah second option jig head jig head with a stinger and then finally the third thing we're going to talk about not the best for most situations but you can actually fish these on a big old offset hook this is a 10 savage gear ewg hook um, it's quite a thin body for the overall profile of the bait so you can get a reasonable hook up right on this if you can see that obviously pipe bites down exposes the hook you get hook set I wouldn't use these unless you're fishing somewhere where it's essential as in somewhere that's super super weedy and there's no other way to present a bait um, because smaller pike these can damage the mouths of them more than if you're fishing with trebles obviously trebles two hook points in it's anchored in place whereas a big hook like this can slip you know damage the cartilage and stuff in a smaller pike's mouth it doesn't happen with the bigger fish but with the smaller pike these can slip and put like longer wounds than what you'd normally get if you're using trebles or something so bear that in mind if you're using these but they uh yeah the hook ratio is obviously a little bit worse as well but like i say only use these if it's essential you don't want to be somewhere you know where i've been fishing today it's not super snaggy it's not super weedy you don't really need to use this so i wouldn't but somewhere where you can't present a bait without getting snagged or weeded up you know something like this is nice to have available nice to have as an option and uh yeah it's another way you can rig these baits obviously as well a lot of people get confused by this but you can throw a stinger on with these um you're mainly going to be relying on that stinger for hooking the fish and the ewg weight of ewg hook is there basically just to add stabilization to the bait um stop it from keeling over because obviously if you've got the hook on the top the weight's on the top might run a little these run pretty true anyway but you know if you've got a heavy hook on top it can pull it over a little bit i've used these wgs with stingers and you, you generally just hook up on the stinger so yeah just thought i'd mention that it's not something that most people will do but uh yeah there's three ways to rig these baits big baits catch a lot of pike i've caught a ton of pike on these already they've only been out a couple of months but yeah they uh definitely work so thought i'd throw that video together i'm gonna put a couple of pike in that i caught about a week ago something like that uh i try, tried to catch some fish this morning as you can see no wind clear blue skies so no fish this morning for this video but we got some on backup anyway so they're gonna go in and yeah hope that's been helpful hope you guys enjoyed hope you enjoy the fishing footage and catch you in the next one Not too bad actually. Straight to weed. That was such a cool hit. Oh, okay, and then Okay guys, just got this super lively pike on the drunk dancer. It's not massive but Decent fish, wasn't expecting one right then, so uh, yeah, caught me off guard a bit, but I'm happy with that. Unlocked it real quick already, but the galaxy colour, 23 centimetre drunk dancer, so yeah, let's get this fish back. Get another one caught, how sweet as that. There she goes. Beauty. Like I said, caught me off guard a little bit that fish then. <laughs> But yeah, absolutely nailed it. Took it head first. Took one of the legs off, unfortunately. So we'll quickly stick a new one on. But I'll probably stick with this uh, colour and size because, uh, yeah, that one frigging wanted it. So, <laughs> see if we can get another one now. Sick. Like I said, proper part of that. That was, it was like right in front of me. Wasn't expecting to see a fish then. And uh, smack. Super hard hit. Literally a foot and a half deep there where it took it. Um, yeah, so good, head first. Absolutely nailed into it. Okay. 
Yep, yeah, that's another one. That's something smaller, I think. Right next to that weed bed there. Yeah, just a little jack. Nailed it, that was such a good hit. I'll just grab this one. Come here, baby. Tiny pike, big bait. Does not mean you can't catch small ones as well. There we go. See you, buddy. Hit that so hard then, that was really good. Proper wanted it. 